Hi, I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au and I'm a MailChimp partner specializing in MailChimp training and consulting. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to my channel or like my video. I'd very much appreciate it. Silvana, a past client, contacted me and said, how can she show an archive or a list of her past sent email campaigns, email newsletters, how can she show them on one of her pages on her website? So that as soon as she sends, for example, a campaign, it is added to that list on her web page that people can click and then view the email newsletter in this case. I'll show you two ways of doing this in MailChimp. And there are advantages and disadvantages to both ways, and I'll, I'll go through those. And then I'll show what I consider one of the easier ways of doing it. I'll show how we can then add that to a WordPress page so that we do get that list of past sent campaigns. I'll show it in WordPress, but you might use a different uh, website builder, but that's fine. But ultimately, we want to have a page on our website that lists our, our past sent uh, email campaigns that we send from MailChimp. So let's go across to MailChimp itself. I'm in my MailChimp audience, as you can see. If I go to campaigns, all campaigns, I can see all my campaigns there. Right, so I'll go through the first way we can add, and this is the way I, I don't prefer, let's put it that way, uh, where we can add a list to our website. With this method, sorry, the advantage is we can choose which emails we want to show on our website. The disadvantage is our, our sent emails won't automatically show. Okay, so with this method that I'm showing you now, what we do is we actually share one of the folders. But in MailChimp, we can't automatically have emails added to a folder. So what you would need to do is manually add any past sent campaigns, or remember to manually add them to the folder only then will they be added as a past sent campaign to your to your web page where you add the code. It'll make more sense in a second. Okay. So the first thing to say is that we can add any campaign to MailChimp by clicking against the campaign name, clicking move to, and then just click on the folder name, or you could create a new folder, but we'll be sharing this demo folder. So I'm just going to click on the demo folder to go into it. So when we're in that demo folder, what you'll notice is MailChimp does have this get archive code. So I'm in a folder. So if I click get archive code, what I'll do is I'll just change my screen just so that you can, uh, sorry, just see this quickly. Um, sorry, just bear with me one second. Okay, you should be able to see there now a little pop-ups come up. And if we click on demo, so that's the folder we're wanting to share. I've clicked on demo um, and MailChimp will give us various code that we can add to our website. So once we add this to our web page anyway, it'll show a list of our past sent campaigns. In this case, it'll be the past 10 that were added to that specific folder we added earlier. So let's just go back to MailChimp. So as far as I'm concerned, that's a bit of a, a more difficult way, but it does give you the control of only sharing things in a specific folder. But the disadvantage is that um, you have to remember to manually add things to that folder for them to show on your web page. But if you're happy to share everything, there's a far simpler way. So if you want to share every campaign that you've sent from MailChimp, there's a far simpler way. So I'm just going to click all to, to view all my campaigns. If we click the down arrow next to view report, next to any one of your, uh, your past sent campaigns, you can click view email. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click view email. This is just a demo. If you now click RSS, we get some strange looking stuff. And what you see might differ but between various browsers. Chrome, you'll see something different. Maybe in Safari, something different. Microsoft Edge, something different. But what you're looking for here is under the link near the top. We're looking for that there. So I'm just going to copy that. What I'm going to then do now is go into WordPress itself. I'm going to create a page. I'm going to then add 
um, a block, an RSS block, and I'm going to add this email address that I've copied, or that URL that I've copied, as the RSS feed. And then automatically, as I send items, they'll be automatically added to my page. So let me just demonstrate that. So I'm copying the link in this really strange looking stuff, right? RSS feed. Let me go across to WordPress. Just to demo, I'm going to click new page to add it to a new page in this case. We'll just wait for that to load up and I'll just get rid of these extra messages. And let's just go here. Um, Mailchimp newsletter demo. You can call the page uh, whatever you want. But in Mailchimp, it's super simple, right? Um, sorry, in WordPress, it's it's super simple. So we click add block. Now we just search for the RSS block. So I've just typed in RSS and I'm clicking RSS. WordPress immediately says, what is the URL that I want to add? So I'm going to paste in that link, the URL I copied and click use URL. And we'll just wait a second. And what you'll notice is that immediately uh, the subject lines come up for my past send campaigns. Now, um, I certainly haven't sent uh, too many too many email campaigns from, from MailChimp. So I won't be able to show you how many, but you can have uh, up to a maximum of 10, display a maximum of 10. As you can see, I haven't sent 10 from uh, MailChimp. Or you can take it right down and just show two, but it's up to you. But these are the most recent anyway, the most recent campaigns you've sent from MailChimp. Um, you can display the date even if you want to. Um, and just to let you know, displaying the excerpt won't work well, uh, purely because um, of how you know the HTML and so on is added through the feed. So we'll get rid of that. But usually that would be perfectly sufficient. You might want to add a little paragraph of text, and I'll just show that very quickly. Paragraph, and maybe we want to say in this paragraph, um, here is our latest news, for example. And let's just move this in WordPress, just move it up. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'll just save this and just show you what this will look like if we published it. I'll click Preview, and Preview New Tab. And there we go. So now going forwards, okay, it's just a demo site as well. But going forwards at any time, you will automatically in using this method, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, you will in using this method using the RSS feed automatically have your latest, um, the, the latest uh, email campaigns you've sent listed here. When someone clicks on one of these, which I'm going to do, I've just clicked, it takes me across into MailChimp into the hosted version of that email in MailChimp. So at any time they can even click past issues here or go back to your to your website and, and click and so on. So that's nice and easy. Anyway, so that's two ways you can add your newsletters as an archive to your website page. I, I hope this has helped. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for joining me. I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au.